Hey guys, Herblin here with another Let's Play Door Fortress. Uh, we just got in a fresh batch of migrants, which is going to help us out considerably. Uh, you know, we haven't had a lot of people to do all the labor that we've assigned. Uh, so now that we've got all these new people coming in, all these new pretty useless looking dwarves, to be honest, a couple of farmers, a spinner, a lie maker, a metal crafter, a glazer, stone worker, and a peasant. Definitely going to be some good people in here to, uh, to start assigning some of our newer tasks to and getting some of that metal working underway as well. So we've still got the bowyer's workshop, we've got this pumping out wooden bolts, which I don't think we need anymore. Uh, for now we'll just, we're just going to put a stop to that. Uh, the wood furnace is going to definitely need to be going. Uh, but then we're going to stockpile our wood and we're going to get that uh, these new areas over to the left dug out so that we can start building some furnaces and some metal crafting workshops as well uh, so we can get some weapons going to get our, our military started. I'm also going to dig out a little bit of a barracks once we have the chance after the metal crafting areas have been dug out. Uh, we're going to set up a little barracks up here to the right. Uh, so that guy, his kill was interrupted by combat. An animal has grown into a straight U. Hmm. Very strange. So somebody's actually managed to capture something. So our hunters are doing an okay job. They've managed to do something. Uh, we've got a couple new animals have come in with the, with the migrants. A straight U. A something and uh Casamel gosling that's pretty cool a couple new animals there definitely some new things to eat and this man dwarf over here whatever has come back with a mangled kangaroo corpse for us to chew on for a bit this is a kangaroo buck mangled corpse very delicious uh, how goes our stills kitchens nothing going on in the kitchen prepare easy meals should be a task um, and brewing plant should constantly be a task as well. How's this guy doing? Still making... He's making a hatch, and then he's going to be on cabinets for a while, I guess. Um, let's set cabinets up. Let's set a couple cabinets up. I don't think we need them constantly being made. Uh, let's do... Let's do a couple armor stands. And a weapons rack. Oh. Uh, where is weapons rack? W... Yeah, there we go. So that way we can get a, a barracks made and put together shortly as well. Excellent. So we've actually got our, our workshop areas cr cleared out here. Uh, we're going to want to set up a metalsmith's workshop uh, that should be right along here somewhere. There it goes. Metalsmith's forge, rather. Uh, let's put that up in the top room. Actually, going to put it in the bottom room here. Bottom right, uh, top right corner using our iron anvil and some limestone. And then we're going to want to open up our furnaces under E. Set up a smelter, very important as well. And again, made it a limestone. Uh, and get those under construction as soon as possible. That way we can start melting down some of the metal blocks that we have. Uh, let's set up a stockpile here as well for different types of stone, which is going to be the metal stones. Uh, we're going to put up in this room over here right across from the smelter. Uh, let's get that set up and change the settings on there. So it's not just whatever anybody decides to bring in. There we go. Just metal ores only. Uh, and then we can set up a storage area later as well. Uh, but for now, let's set up an other, a small storage area. Just along the back wall here, two by wall, uh, whatever, a long two by something. Very long, two wide wet room. Uh, we're going to use that for storing a bit more wood or possibly some uh, bars and charcoal and different types of coals as well. Uh, actually, we do have a wood furnace, I think. Yeah, we do have a wood furnace here. Let's set that up, so that should always be kind of pumping out charcoal for now as well. If we do have a wood burner, which I think we should have at this point. Wood burning, uh, we have one. There, I'm going to give a second one. Uh, and we're going to need somebody that does a little bit more weapons and all this stuff. That's going to be our full blacksmith. This guy has too many jobs right now. Let's take these off. He's not going to be doing carpentry or bowery. Just commit him to full-time metalworking. So these guys are going to start dragging metal ores into that room. 
dumping them for our use. Uh, we've got eight people sitting around doing absolutely nothing right now. So let's take a look at what their current jobs are. Uh, let's pause this game up here. Okay, so we've got a couple fishery people, fishermen, fishermen, farmers. Uh, let's see, plant gathering. Let's hand out that job a couple of times over. Spinner, commit these guys, and we'll set that up right away. Because we're not farming yet, we're going to need people gathering plants so that we can keep the still running, keep brewing alcohol. Because that's definitely something we don't want to have run out. Uh, what's this? Got some peach wood barrels. Water buffalo eye biscuits, delicious. Excellent. Okay, so we've actually got a couple of uh, metal bars built at this point. Uh, you can see that we're working on the magnetite here, melting that down. And we've got some uh, charcoal, I believe, somewhere stockpiled a little bit. Uh, now we've got a couple of uh, bins, we're filling them up with iron bars. Since those are actually being filled up, I'm going to put somebody over on our, our actual forge. Uh, no, it's still not completely made. So let's take a look see why that is, because we should have somebody that has the metal smithing skills needed. Uh, but it looks like he's actually busy taking a nap right now, uh, which means we might need a second metal smither. Just something very basic. Uh, actually, I don't want him on weapon smithing. I'm going to put him on metal crafting. So I don't do that very often. I just want somebody to come in and actually get that uh, that forge made up, or that, that uh, craft area. So how are we doing on wooden bolts? Because I see a lot of uh, little hunting notifications. We should be doing okay on food. Got a plant barrel. Uh, I've got a lot of beer and liquors and alcohols and lots of biscuits from the looks of it. Perch, lots of fish. So we're living a lot on a diet of fish and the plants that we're finding in the area as well. Uh, let's continue brewing the drink from plants because that is very essential to dwarven life. What's in these barrels over here? Empty, long lane grass, grass wine biscuits, delicious, and our cook is getting a pretty good. A stack of 41 exceptionally prepared Dwarven wine biscuits. Finely minced kangaroo tallow. That is delicious sounding. Uh, what's in this one? Spinach leaves. Yeah, different types of plants. Fish barrel. And beet plant biscuits. What the fuck is a beet plant biscuit? Three beet plant biscuits. The ingredients are finely minced grape and minced beet plants. Oh, so good. So, so good. What's going on in here? We got so many statues actually coming along. I completely forgot about this mason's workshop that's been just working like crazy. I'm going to turn that off for now actually because that has kind of been going overkill for a while. Uh, let's take a look at some of these statues. This is a superior quality limestone statue of Opie Spring Scented. Item is superiorly designed with Opie Spring Scented the Human and Belelo Fugsiapt the Elf and Limestone by Bomrek Lithashalid. Cannot pronounce these names. Uh, Belelo is striking down Opie Sun Suited. The artwork relates the killing of the human Opie Spring Suited by the Elf Belelo. Ever in the Tufts Growl, the Sizzling Hill in the early autumn of 114 during Narwhal were ref. The strifeful assaults. So some kind of battle went on there, and an elf was able to kill a human. Unfortunately. Okay, so we've got a bunch of old dirty stuff in here. Uh mangled oh god. Mangled and rotten skins and stuff that we didn't get to put to use. Uh, it's too bad. So let's set up a refuse pile over here. And we're also going to want a garbage dump, which we haven't set up yet for some reason. It's a bit big, but there. There we go. So we've got a big garbage dump over there and a refuse pile. Uh, so hopefully some of that rotten stuff can get thrown out before we get a big miasma cloud floating around the base, which is what will happen. Just about guaranteed. 
So we're still waiting on that guy, on somebody to come by and craft that metalsmith's workshop, which is really weird. Here somebody comes with an uh, uh, anvil right now, so it looks like it's getting put together. Oh, and there we go. So let's set up a weapons. Uh, let's get some weapons going. Uh, we're going to use our iron up, and we're going to use that to create spears for now. I'm not going to quite put that on a repeat forever, but let's just make a bunch of spears. Like I said, spears are really, really good. If you don't have very skilled dwarves in fighting, uh, give them spears because they're more likely to just stab into somebody and actually end up just piercing a vital organ by mistake than they will, you know, using a sword or an axe. It takes some relative skill to actually bring somebody down with it. They can completely accidentally take somebody down. Uh, what's this? Genko leaves? Okay, I thought that was blood all over the place. Genko leaves. Sometimes you see big blood smears if somebody's done a lot of uh, hunting in the area. So we're in winter right now. So we've got a uh, completely frozen lake here. We don't have any source of water. Luckily we're working on alcohol right now. We do have a lot of alcohol stored. Hopefully enough to get us through the winter. Because right now there's just no way that they can drink uh, anything but alcohol. They have no access to water right now. Until we build maybe a well or something pulling water up from the depths underneath uh, if we find something that's heated underneath or we heat up the water with a bit of magma oh so this guy's become a cook he's claimed oh shit somebody's claimed the craft doors workshop let's hope to hell he's got all the stuff he needs he's gonna sit in there isn't he he's just gonna sit in there yeah he needs something I don't know what he needs. He's got some hazelwood logs, it looks like, but he needs something else. Hmm. Picture of some of a forest, cut gems. So we need some gems cut. Hopefully, you know what, we do have a couple of uncut gems. Maybe we can get a gem workshop just to keep this guy from going berserk. Because if he doesn't get to build the thing that he wants to build, he'll kill somebody. Like He will literally kill somebody. Um, or just spaz out and go live in the woods near the base and just be a, like a big mega creep for the rest of his days. But he'll become completely useless and totally detrimental to our cause here. Uh, I've got a couple people that can do gem setting. We don't have anybody totally available for that right now. There, hopefully that works. Put a couple people on it. Make sure that it gets done. Knit. Got somebody else making weapons right now as well. Very cool stuff. We've got a good iron spear made here. Exceptional quality iron spear. That's going to go to somebody probably in command. Uh, superior quality. Finely crafted. And oh, it's just a regular old iron anvil for some reason. I looked at that. So he's making some pretty decent weapons. And he's leveling up his weapons uh, crafting skill at the same time. Very interesting because later on he'll be able to make a lot better uh, quality weapons. Hopefully some masterwork stuff. Like that guy, he just made a masterwood almond wooden bed. So this one up really quick. Let's do uh, cut gems. Ooh, do we have all these types of things? Let's give him a clear tourmaline to cut as well. So hopefully that keeps that uh, that guy over there a little bit happier. He has some cut gems to work with and craft whatever it is that he wants to make. Okay, perfect. So we were able to get him to begin his mysterious construction. So he won't rage out. He won't uh, go on a killing spree or have a tantrum of any kind this time. Uh, we were able to prevent that, luckily, because it isn't always that that happens. Um, I'm going to reassign this uh, little area because it's bigger than I'd ever meant it to be. Yeah, let's make this a dining hall. Hmm. Resize the room because it's kind of gone on past where the doors are now. So there weren't any doors when we originally assigned it. We got lots of statues, so I'm going to put a couple more statues in here. Always makes everybody super happy. Fill this area up with statues. Just a big wall of them. Lots of history to be seen there. He was interrupted by a kangaroo buck, so we need our hunters going out and just killing a couple more things. It sounds like everything's a little bit out of control with the wildlife in the area. 
But the fact that we're surviving off of kangaroos is kind of cool, too. What's this guy doing? He's still making spears. Cut down some of the spear production. And if we set him on iron smithing, we can actually get him to make bolts. But we need a couple pickaxes as well. There we go. Bolts. It's really good we actually got that, uh, that metal coming in. Got a little battle going on over here with people. Um, some dwarves trying to take down what looks like a kangaroo. Let's take a look at this kangaroo, see how it's doing. He's terrified while in conflict. Oh, that's a guy. Uh, it's not the kangaroo. Let's take a look at the kangaroo. His left eye is mangled beyond recognition. His head is cut open. His head is bruised. His right eye is mangled beyond recognition. His right upper arm is cut open. His right upper arm is dented. Right upper arm is bruised. This guy is just destroyed. This poor kangaroo. Sounds like uh, these guys are just beating on him. Wow. And they're all afraid. They're all afraid of this kangaroo, but they're just beating it to death with something. Just surrounding it. Poor thing. How about this guy that's right over top of it? That guy was okay too, I think. Oh. There we go. Yeah, just scared. No uh, actual damage done to any of them. Okay, and that guy was able to create a hazelwood bra bracelet called Casting Tan. Let's see what we can like, let's see what's going on with that. A bracelet item of jewelry worn on the hands. This hazelwood bracelet off craft store ship is of the highest quality, decorated with hazelwood and encircled with bands of bryos bryolite cut shards. This object menaces with spikes spikes of hazelwood. So it's just a hazelwood bra uh, bracelet with a couple of uh, gems kind of set into it. That's pretty cool though. That's our first masterwork um, kind of item like that. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys kind of sitting around not doing a lot right now. I'm going to read into this, see what jobs these guys have. Uh, yeah, so we've got a farmer right off the bat, tells me he's probably unskilled. A lot of things, yeah, we don't need this guy so much, doing a lot. Um, an extra fisherman. And let's take our spinner as well. Also a super useless position. What's this guy's job? I think this is our... No, this guy's useless too. So let's take these four. We gotta remember those names. So Otl. So it's a sign of noble. Let's start making our military. We're gonna take our somebody important, put him in this major position. Because uh, he's never gonna see combat. We're gonna take our militia captain and make that Otl. This guy has no qualifications whatsoever to be our militia captain, but that's okay. No uniform. So we've got Onel there. We're going to need Rackest. Go our spinner. Um, Saxel. Farmer. And Sarvish. Something like that. Fisher Dwarf. There we go. So we've got a very uh, basic little military here. Let's give them specific weapons. Equipment. Specific weapon. That guy's getting that nice spear. This guy's gonna get a nice spear. This guy's gonna get a pretty good spear. <laughs> and this guy will get a decent spear as well. So we've just uh, equipped a small, 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 small military. And we're gonna have to create them a little barracks over here as well. Somewhere for them to train up during the day and sleep and store all their weapons and generally just improve themselves as best as possible. That destination there. Okay. Perfect. It looked like we and one of our animals got a little bit bigger as well. Kind of cool. But we don't necessarily need a boar laying around. Uh, where was that thing? Just a big stupid looking pig somewhere. Yeah, a big pig. Uh, what's his preference here? Can we set him? Oh, we can't. He's somebody's pet. We can't actually eat him. That's too bad. Once they're pets, they're not edible for some reason. What about this thing? You can slaughter the camel. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. I think we got lots of food, but let's just do it anyways for the fun. For the experience. We got tons of biscuits, lots of alcohol, lots of random plants that we found laying around as well. Let's actually put another plant uh, gathering job going out there. Keep everybody busy. Masterpiece Peachwood Bed is created. Excellent. These dwarves are going to get raided in no time. Good thing that we have this uh, little military coming together. It's not much quite yet, but uh, it's something. Let's turn this guy off. Let's have him make a couple of shields. Uh, weapon racks and shields. Then we'll put them on. Let's give them some chests to make as well. So these guys are going to clear the little barracks area, and then we can dump in some there, armor stands on the walls and weapon racks. Oops, there we go. And we'll throw in a couple beds as well on the other wall. That way they can sleep in there as well. That's just going to be their home. So now we've got this little military here. Let's change their schedule up a little bit. Change them down to a minimum of three training all the time. Change that for every single month of the year. There we go. And we'll give them brand new barracks. go. So they're going to sleep, they're going to train, they're going to equip, and they're going to equip as squads and individuals there, I guess, as well. This is their new area. We should see guys kind of prancing around in there with their spears from now on. Three at a time, possibly four at certain other times. What are they doing? Oh, right, I didn't uh, give them orders to complete just keep training and be active there we go so they should start training now full time and they'll teach each other and they'll learn and get better and better and then when we send them out into real combat they'll get tons of experience as well obviously how's this doing how are we doing on metal and charcoal charcoal was the big one that's what we started running out of before got one piece <laughs> One small piece of charcoal. Uh, coke we can make from lignite, which is awesome because that's like super charcoal. Works a lot longer than regular charcoal. We're not doing so good on trees. Let's cut a couple more down. Is there any in the area? Damn. What is there that we can cut down? Because we need need wood because we're just going to start turning it all into uh, turning it all into charcoal and coal and getting some metal pumped out. So we're also going to need some armor pretty soon as well so we don't really have any of that stockpiled at all. So we've got a small little army here. These guys, what are they up to? What are they thinking? I learned about fighting the wonder. He feels wonder after learning about fighting. Within the last season he felt satisfied with the work, didn't feel anything after seeing a wild boar sow die. Was that our board? Did it die? No. I was going to say, I wanted to eat that thing. Butcher shop is good and clean. We are stocked to shit on food, I think. Food and liquor is just great. What is this? Prepared to hump camel. Camel spleen biscuits. The ingredients are superiorly minced two humped camel tallow and superiorly minced two humped camel spleen. That sounds awful don't even want to know at all so anyways in this video so far we've kind of gone over uh, made a new barracks started a new army the basics of a new army and got our metal working shops up and running um, pretty time-consuming stuff but very very important now we can start working on more defenses and getting ready for our first siege which is going to be underway if we have some valuables coming in at this point um, Oh, we also got our first artifact, which was pretty cool, even though it was just a little bracelet made out of mostly wood. Um, should be just about done riding out the winter, and I'm sure that we're going to soon get some more migrants coming in. And we do have a lot of people alternating between 
doing absolutely nothing and the massive amount of work that needs to be done at this point. So actually, how are we doing on these? Yeah, we still got lots of bolts as well. And we got guys out hunting. We got guys out uh, collecting all these different uh, plants as well. Very important. Um, yeah, so that's, that's about as far as we got this time. Thank you guys so much for joining me though. Uh, leave a like or a comment, any kind of support like that. It helps me out so much. Or if you're really feeling it, just subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, helps me out huge. Just to see that kind of support really makes my day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time.